Yugoslav President Slobodan Milosevic went into the meeting with Boris Yeltsin knowing it was probably his last chance to avoid the wrath of the international community over the Kosovo crisis. He emerged agreeing to accept the West's main demands, including resuming negotiations with political leaders. But he said there was no need for the Yugoslav army to leave the province. All actions of Serbian police were only against terrorist groups, not against civilians. Civilians, we consider all of them, regardless to their national belonging, our citizens. An advisor to Kosovo's Albanian leader says all of the contact group's conditions must be met before any meetings take place. Foremost, the withdrawal of Yugoslav military forces from the province. Since March, more than 300 people have been killed in the Serbian crackdown in Kosovo, and tens of thousands have been forced to leave their homes. Many have walked days across mountains to neighbouring Macedonia and Albania to flee the fighting. Milosevic has agreed to allow unrestricted return for all refugees and unlimited access to humanitarian aid. But it remains to be seen if his promises will change the situation on the ground by stemming the flow of refugees out of the province or stopping the bloodshed.